laying blocks to line uses many of the same skills as laying bricks to line. However, you need to remember that blocks are often bigger and heavier than bricks, so care must be taken. But because blocks are bigger, it means that you can build a higher wall in a day than you can when using bricks. To lay blocks to line, you first need the corners of the wall to be built. These should be in the correct position for the final wall. Once this has been done, a string line should be set up between these corners. The string line should run level with the height of the first course of blocks to give you a guide to work to. The pin at the end of the line is then inserted into the perp joint. You can also use a corner block attached to the corner of the wall as an alternative method. Next, repeat this for the pin at the other end of the line. Then, draw the line as tight as possible, making sure not to pull out the pin at either end. Now you are ready to start laying the course. Using a trowel, roll the mortar and place it on the wall in position to take the next block. You should aim to spread the mortar to an even joint size. Pick up the new block and check it for any damage. Then apply mortar for the perp joint, spreading the mortar evenly on the end of the block and removing any surplus as necessary. Now place the block onto the wall in the correct position, making sure that it doesn't touch the line. Tap down on the block until the top edge is level with the top of the line. You also need to make sure that the entire length of the block is level and that the perp joints are plumb. Any excess mortar hanging over the edge of the wall should then be removed with the trowel. Set the trowel at an angle to avoid smearing the blocks below. Again, use the trowel to remove excess mortar from the back of the block you've just laid. Repeat this technique for the rest of the course, moving the line up as necessary to help you complete the next course. Once you've done so, you can then use the same process to complete the rest of the wall until you reach the top course. If the wall you're working on is quite long, there's a chance that the line could sag in the middle. 